All right, period. This page two here, uh, we're going to introduce something called a radian. So understanding radian measures. I'm going to show you two things really quick. When you take a radius, so that's the length of that little circle radius. And if I lay that out, right, if I lay this radius around the circle, it goes about once right there, maybe twice right there, probably three times about there, four times right there, maybe four five-ish right here, six-ish. So a radius around the circle takes about 6.28 times to lay it down. That little bit right there is about 2.8. So really, a radius is two pi radiuses to get the circumference of a circle, All right? We used to also call that pi d, right? Is the circumference of a circle the formula for the circumference of a circle? Well, since pi, 3.14, diameter of circumference, half of that, right, would be 2 pi, 6.28. So although we're getting through this, we're going to talk about this a little bit different way. The, the use of a radius as a unit of measurement akin to degrees is what a radian is. So we're going to back off that a little bit and kind of walk through this, all right? This introduces the fact that we have a few circles. We got circle A, which has a radius of one. Circle CD right there has a radius of two. Circle um, EF has a radius of three, all right? And um, the angle of measurement. So there's an angle right here from here to the terminal side right here, here to the terminal side, which is 225. So all of those have a measurement of 225 degrees. And that's just from, I'll draw one from here to here, right? From here to here, 225. And since we know there's 360 degrees, right, in a circle, well, 225 over 360 will reduce to 5 eighths of a circle, all right? So I know that 225 represents 5 eighths with the other 3 eighths being over here. All right. So 5 eighths, the total number of degrees are represented in this arc right there. So the length of each inscribed arc is also 5 eighths of the circumference. All right, we compared that to the 5 eighths of the circumference of the circle. Now, we're gonna talk about this table really quick. All right, so if the circumference is two pi r, that first circle only has a radius of one. A has a radius of one. It says right here, all right? So the first per circle, the circumference equals two pi times one, which is, right, two pi. Second one, the circumference is two pi times two, which we know is four pi. And the last one, radius of three, two pi times three. So two pi times three, we have is six pi. All right, so each circle has a circumference. Um, some multiple of pi larger than the other ones, all right? Pi being kind of a constant. Now, the length of an intercepted arc, right, is the fraction of a circle times the circumference, all right? Because we didn't go all the way around the circle, right? If we'd have gone all the way around the circle, it would have been two pi distance. We stopped five eighths around. So if you go the distance we stopped at times the circumference, you get the length of that arc, which in this case is five pi fourths, right? This one is 5 eighths times 4 pi, all right? Which is going to be 5 pi halves, which was 10 pi fourths, right? And this one's 5 eighths times, whoa, what is that? 6 pi, which is gonna be 15 pi fourths. So that's how long this mark would measure. If all are around two pi units, and I get to here, only five force pi because I haven't gone all the way. I stopped short of going all the way around. Now what we want to talk about is the ratio of the arc length to the radius. So the arc length we put on top, right, and to the radius. Well the radius here is one, so it's really five pi force. And we'll say the radius is on bottom one. So the ratio here is five pi force. There is a ratio to the arc length and the radius of five pi. Oh, over four. Alright? This guy, well, the distance around was 5 pi fourths, but we want to ratio that to the radius. And look, the radius needs to go on bottom, and our radius in this one was 2. All right? So, well, this is 2 over here. All right? So um, 5 pi halves goes right there, and 1 half goes here. And we also get 5 pi fourths. So our ratio is pretty constant right here. 
when comparing arc length to the radius, is pretty constant. All right? And this guy we had what 15 pi fours. All right? And um, it looks like our radius is three, so we put that on the bottom. And we can see this reduces here to once again five pi fours. Whenever you have a constant ratio with something, you can use it as a unit measurement. All right. So what do we notice about the ratio ratio of the arc length to the radius in the fourth column? They all equal, all right, five pi fours. Suppose the central angle instead of being 270 was 225. So instead of oh sorry, instead of being 225, it was 270. Well, in that case, right? Let's see, 270 of the 360 is going to give me 3 fourths, right? And since all the way around is 2 pi, that would be 3 fourths, uh oh, 3 fourths of the total distance around 2 pi, which we can see this reduces, all right? And um, we would have 3 pi, right, well, let me get that up there so we can see it, 2 and 4 reduced to 1 and 2, multiply across 3 pi is equal to 2. All right. So this would be our ratio of the arc length to right, the radius. And this ratio of arc length to radius is what we call a radian. And there's a couple ways to think about it, but that's what it is. And we're going to talk about radians now. So uh, next page, we'll do that.